Hi everybody, today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to make a bowl on my bandsaw out of this single board. Recently one of our Woodworking Association's members brought in some baskets and bowls that they made on their scroll saw. So I thought it would be cool to try to draw up a template and make a bowl with my bandsaw. So let's take a look at the template that I designed. The template I've designed is a set of centered octagons and I'll provide a link to a PDF of this template in the video description. You'll want to make sure when you print out the PDF template that you're using 8.5 by 14 legal size paper and print out two copies so that you can cut out the whole bowl. There are a couple of ways you can use this template. I've taped the two pages together so that I could cut out all of these octagon rings and the center piece out of this single piece of 1 by 12 pine. I've planed it down to about half an inch thick, but you could use three quarter inch stock as well. Another option is to cut each half of the octagons out on different one by six boards. Uh, for example, you might choose a light color board for this half and a darker color board for this half to have some contrasting colors and add some interest to your bowl. I've got the template attached to the board and you might be wondering how I'm going to get the bandsaw in here to make these interior cuts. Well, what I'm going to have to do is make an entry cut through each ring and just glue it back together later. It will help to hide that glue line though if my entry cut is made along with the grain. Now that I've got all the pieces cut, I can show you how this is going to come together. You take the center piece, which is going to be the bottom of the bowl, and you put it on your workbench. And then you take the smallest ring, and you rotate it just a little bit so that it rests on the corners of the bottom. And then you take the next piece, and you set it on the corners of the one below it and continue to stack the rest of the rings on top to form the bowl. But before I glue all this together, I need to glue back together these entry cuts that I made in each octagon ring, let that dry, and then do a lot of sanding because it's going to be a lot easier to sand these now than when they're put together. got all the pieces sanded and I've got them put back together where the wood grain lines up so now I'm just gonna assemble it with some of this tight bond medium CA glue Alright guys, after several coats of spray lacquer, the bowl is finished. I'm um, not sure if it's a bowl or a basket. Uh, maybe it's a basket bowl. <laughs> but uh, leave me a comment and let me know if you think it's a bowl or a basket. Baskets usually have a handle, don't they? Anyway, uh, check the video description for a link to my PDF template of this design. Don't forget you need to print out two copies of it on legal size 8.5 by 14 paper. And if you want to do it like I did it, take the two halves together and cut everything out of a piece of 1x12. Or you could use those pages separately and cut the templates out of 1x6s. And get creative with it. Use different species of wood. 
Um, if you cut it out with one by sixes, you just need to glue those together before you assemble the bowl. Um, this was a really fun project and a couple things to note about assembling it is the corners allow very little glue surface. So I think the CA glue works uh, well with that. And as I was putting it together, I made sure to rotate the wood grain to give it kind of a, a nice uh, mix of colors all over the bowl. And if you don't want to use it as a bowl, it is kind of fragile. You don't want to put like 20 pounds of apples in here or nothing. But uh, instead of a bowl, you could turn it over and it would make kind of a neat looking lamp base or something. So that's something to think about. So I hope you have fun with it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming projects. Also visit my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com where you'll find links to my YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Keek, and Pinterest.